Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater, and I'm joined by Don Carr. Don, great to see you, man. Hey, man, good to be here, Mitch. Cool guitars are what? <sighs> Amazing. Man, right? we've been having fun. I know, I know. These things sound great, look great, play great. Wow. Just what more could you ask? Yeah, no kidding. So what we're checking out are Sweetwater exclusive Heritage Guitars Artisan editions, I guess you'd say, of, uh, of some of their models. I've got the H150. Right. And you've got... The H535. Right. So clearly, solid body. Semi hollow Semi body, right right, right, right. But there's some differences here with the standard line, right? The heritage right. guitars. Yeah, these are the uh, these these are the artisan age Sweetwater exclusives. So there's there are a couple of things that are different than the standard line. So it is a bit of an upgrade, right? The the thing that struck me is uh, I think both of us is man I pulled this out of the case and not only was it in tune but it also was set up to play. I mean it was just fantastic and it felt like I'd been playing this guitar for. 10 years. And yeah. It just feels like a comfortable guitar that that you know that you know. Yeah, you can immediately bond with this guitar. I I same with this one. Just picked it right up out of the box and went, "Okay, well, here we go." Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the aging because uh sometimes you see aged guitars and some players may feel they're overdone. Right. In some cases there's not a lot of difference. Mm -hmm. In this case, I feel like they've really struck the balance between aging the guitar but right. not going too far. Right. Right, to where it just feels and looks a little bit broken in, but it's not, you know, completely over the top. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it's and uh, um, that's the interesting thing about this. I think the uh, the artisan aged process that Heritage does is one at a time, hand done process. So um, each guitar is a little bit individual, but of course there's a obviously a template and they're following the same thing. But I, I, I mean, it's just like a little patina, you know, and a little checking, and so it's really subtle. It feels nice. Yeah, the edges of the fingerboard edges are. Rounded right. and, and feel right. comfortable, and, and like I say, it just feels like a guitar you've been playing for years. Yeah, yeah. The uh, checking you mentioned, to me, it's not overdone. Right. It's and that's that's again a, a big part of it for me as a player is I, I I like the feel of it, that it feels like a broken in guitar, but there's not a lot of, you know, cracks. Yeah. In the finish, if you will. And it's you know it's not visually as I mean to me. Personally, this is on a personal level. To me, that's a little distracting, mm -hmm. you know, and so having less of that is, you know, just a, a benefit for me personally. Right, right. So there's the looks aspect yeah. to the aging. There's the feel aspect right. to the aging. They've also, or we've also, done a little change here that affects the tone of the guitars. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the pickups, mm -hmm. which is huge. Uh, Seth Lover's on this guitar. Mm -hmm. And what's in that one? These are antiquities. Antiquities. So both Seymour Duncan yeah. uh, pickups, but... Man, these pickups sound huge. Yeah, in this guitar, mm -hmm. we plugged it in, and I'm playing through a uh, MXR Duke of Tone. Yeah, and a Nemesis Delay into this uh, Keeley Custom 12 right. uh, from Supro, and. The second I plugged it in, I was like, man, I could I could gig with that. Yeah, I know, I know, exactly. As soon as you played, I was like, well, there's your tone right yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, you know, same with this guitar. This has got Seth Lovers, which when we were looking at the specs, I thought, huh, I wonder why they went with that versus that. Well, you know what? All I can say is the proof's in the pudding, as they say, man. This guitar sounds great. You, you plugged, plugged it, it right in. in. Yeah, plugged it right into this twin. Absolutely no problem at all, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, sounds fantastic. Yeah. Well, let's check out a few sounds. Do you want to start? Okay, and sure. Show us, uh, show us what you got going on sure. there with the 535. Okay. All right, so let's Let's start. I was, uh, in the intro, I was playing in the uh, middle position, so this sound, right? Both pickups. Man, that sounds great. Yeah, just really balanced, big and fat, but you still get that snap from the, you know, from the uh, bridge pickup. So here's the neck pickup by itself. Both these guitars, the bridge and the neck pickups balance really well. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes with a semi-hollow body, the bridge can sound a little bit anemic, mm -hmm. if you will. Right, or too bright, or the neck can be too woolly. Right. You know, but in this case, they yeah. balance Boy, great. Really balance great. And uh, you know, I've got a uh, I've got a Rev Tilt Overdrive here, um, the Sean Tubbs thing, and uh, man, same you know same deal. Just really voices well. Uh, here's bridge pickup. <laughs> Nothing 
wrong with that at all. <laughs> Man, cannot argue with that one bit. That is Man. a fantastic yeah. tone. Right. It really is. Right. So let's check this out. I've turned okay. off the uh, the pedals. Yeah. Here's uh, the middle position on this. Nice and rich. Golly. Has that top end though. You can really yes. sting. If you want to, it's there. When we go to the neck. There's enough articulation there. Man, but it's so throaty though. Yeah. Golly, yeah, that really sounds, sounds good, good, man. And here's the bridge. A snarl, but not like ripping your head off, yep, you know. Not too bright, right? Yeah. So, if we add a little bit of the Duke of Tone, just beautiful. It is, man. Big and articulate, very vocal, yeah. you know. Both of these guitars, again, voiced really well. Obviously, they, you know, they chose wisely for the pickups, yeah, right? Yeah, definitely. But, but yeah, the uh, the dynamic range in both of them is just amazing. Mm -hmm. You can really dig in or back off the guitar response. Right, right. Beyond the the aging mm -hmm. and the pickup swap, mm -hmm. we have the standard models underneath, right. which are still fantastic guitars. Yep. We've got a mahogany body here, a beautiful maple top on yeah. this one. This is in the dark cherry burst, I think. Is yeah. The, the, yeah. But there's a number of different colors. We have a, right. a dirty lemon burst behind us here. Yeah. Uh, mahogany neck, rosewood fingerboard, Grover tuners on this. Uh, you've got a locking bridge, I think, on that one. Right, locking bridge on this one, which just you know holds the tailpiece in place, which is great. Man. Yeah. You know, nice, nice bonus there. Um, curly maple. On this, so this is a you know a laminate, obviously. Mm -hmm. You know, so the uh, top, back, and sides are curly maple, and uh, yeah, kill it. Man. I remember when you pulled that out of the case and strummed it for the first time. I think that's the loudest acoustically, <laughs> the loudest <laughs> electric guitar I've heard. I, I I know. We I mean, especially for a thin line, you're kind of expecting to like kind of lean in to listen to it. And it was like, oh, what, what? Right. <laughs> it's like, Right. Yeah. yeah. Funny, man. So cool. Well, let's do a little more playing. Let's do. All right. Thanks for joining us today. These are fantastic guitars. You just have to check them out. And the prices they come in at, amazing. They're just as amazing as the sounds and the looks of these guitars. This is the Sweetwater exclusive Artisan Aged mm -hmm. H150. Right. And this is the uh, Sweetwater exclusive Artisan Aged H535. Beautiful guitars. Definitely check them out. Don Carr, and I'm Mitch Gallagher. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click here for more videos like this or start at sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.